Hey guys, it's Neil again from Heart of Texas Armory, and today I want to bring you guys along and show you how I brush my watches, or in this case, my watch bracelets. So, this is a very simple and easy and fast process, but I did want to bring you guys along so you can see how to do this. Now, I will say this is not the only way to go about brushing your watches, but this is the way that I do it, and it's, like I said, it's fast, it's easy, and you can use commonly available items to do this. So in my case, I use Scotch-Brite pads. So this watch here, this is a Vostok 020 SE, and a really awesome watch. I've had it for about a year and a half. One of my favorites, but I've recently upgraded it here with the Vostok Universal Bracelet that I purchased from Marinome. Great upgrade for your Vostoks. If you are interested in these bracelets, you can pick them up at Marinome.com. They're very affordable, around $30 with the end links. So make sure you select the correct end links for your watch. But it does make for a really nice upgrade for your Vostok bracelet. So solid links here you can see. It does have some articulation, so it is more comfortable than the standard Vostok Amphibia bracelet that is very... Uh, rigid and also known for grabbing your hairs on your arms. So most of you guys are familiar with those really terrible bracelets. This one here is a nice upgrade, but you can see how this is. This is how they come from Marinome.com. So they are brushed on the outer links here. The center links are polished. Now that may work for your watch, but for this one here, the 020SE, which comes fully brushed from Marinome.com, uh, the case at least, fully brushed. You know, I just don't like having that polished center section. So we're gonna go about brushing this bracelet here so it kind of matches the uh, watch case here. Now it may not be perfect, but it's gonna be much better than how it is currently with that uh, polished center link. So let's go ahead and show you guys how I go about brushing my watches or bracelets. So the first step here, at least in my case, is to remove the bracelet from the watch. If you ordered your bracelet directly from Marinome, you can disregard this step, of course, but we need to remove this so it's easier to brush the bracelet. Okay, so the bracelet has been removed, and what I'm going to use to polish this is just a standard Scotch-Brite pad. You can see it right here, what they look like. Most of you guys are familiar with these. You may even have some somewhere in your house, apartment, or wherever you live. Uh, you might have one of these. A lot of times they're used uh, in the kitchen or something like that or for cleaning things. But the abrasive nature of the Scotch-Brite pad is excellent for brushing stainless steel. It's not too aggressive like a coarse sandpaper that's going to actually scour your product. This here is just going to brush. So works great for that. So I'm going to take this Scotch-Brite pad and use a razor blade and just cut off a little strip of it. Uh, just because I don't need the whole pad, obviously, for a bracelet. So that's what we're going to do here. So the next step is to start brushing your bracelet or watch. And what you want to do with this, with any type of brushing, it is usually done in a linear fashion. Now, there are circular brushings. We're not even going to attempt that here. We're just going to go with a linear brushing, which is basically in a straight line. So what you want to do is probably start with a slight back and forth motion here, just like you see I'm doing on this bracelet. So the back and forth motion is just a faster method of brushing. You can obviously just do this in a straight one direction brushing if you want, but I typically start out like this with the back and forth mo motion because it is faster. So I do this until I'm kind of happy with the final appearance of the brushing. This can take up to, you know, five minutes or however long it's gonna take you. Just do it to the level of brushing that you desire. For me, it probably took about five minutes or so. You can see I've sped up the, the film here uh, so you're just not sitting watching me brush for basically five minutes. So that's what I do for the first stage here is that back and forth motion. Very simple. You don't use a lot of pressure. Very easy to do. So we did that here. Now the next step, and this is what I call like the final step, uh, the final uh, finish you're going to achieve. Now is when I switch over to the straight linear in one direction motion. So I'm going to start here at the base or at the top of the bracelet and just work all the way down in one motion. We're not going back and forth anymore, just in one direction. And that's going to give you the best brushing. And you can do this as many times as you want as well. 
I'm doing it here just uh, for a few minutes just to uh, achieve just a little finer finish. So um, that's what you're seeing here. So here we are, here is the finished bracelet here, fully brushed, turned out really nice. Now it's not a perfect match to the to the case here, but I don't really care. It looks better than it did before for my watch. So I have a fully brushed watch and a fully brushed bracelet here. So let's go ahead and put the bracelet back on the watch and see the finished product on wrist. And here we are with the finished project with the watch on my wrist. You can see the brushing done to the bracelet looks really good. Now it matches the brushed watch case. So really pleased with how this turned out. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, this is not the only way you can go about brushing your watches or bracelets, but it's the method that I use, the scotch Brite method here. So the results turn out pretty good as you can see. If you have any questions or comments on this, definitely leave them down below. I'll do my best to help you out. Hopefully this helped you out and you enjoyed this video. And guys, I'll catch you on the next one.